So here's some interesting news that really caught my eye. Really, it's actually my cousin, Goshen's Games, who actually sent this to me. And it's actually a pretty interesting article, and it came along with a funny interview with Andrew Garfield, totally denying that he's not, that he's like in Spider-Man No Way Home. So we're going to go ahead and review this article, share our thoughts a little bit, talk about it a bit, and that'll be pretty much it. So before I continue on, I want you guys to go ahead and click on like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. It really helps the channel. I post videos on a daily, every single day at least. And I do live streams twice a week from Tuesdays and Sundays from 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. I want you guys to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe once again. With all that being said, welcome to the channel, News Astonish. Ronnie here. Let's go ahead and discuss this. So the ongoing battle between film fans and non-disclosure agreements continues. In a new interview, Actor Andrew Garfield, who played Spider-Man in two of its Sony films, said that despite what you may have read on the internet, he hasn't been called to reprise the role in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. Garfield was speaking on Happy, Sad, Confused podcast when described in detail how he feels seeing unsubstantiated rumors online and how he wishes he could just squash them. Listen, I can't speak for anyone else but myself. They might be doing something, but I ain't got a call, Garfield said in regards to the new film. However, when asked point blank if he's in the film or not, Garfield answered by saying, haven't I just said that? Which he sort of did, more heavily implied it, really. You can watch the full clip down below here. And the clip that we're speaking about was from Josh Horowitz. Andrew Garfield's ready to talk about those rumors about his return as Spider-Man. You might be surprised to see what he sa has to say. Watch the full interview here in the brand new Happy Sad Confused uh, Patreon right here. So here's the clip. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys so you can guys can go ahead and watch it and then form an impression for yourselves. Um, let's go ahead and take a look to see what he says. I don't know how to bring up the Spider-Man stuff because obviously I don't even want to like ruin anything if there is something to ruin except to there say isn't anything to ruin, bro. I had to just quickly just cut you off. There's nothing to ruin. Really? Like, like it's so crazy. To, it's like, just with... gotten out of hand. This is all bull bullshit. Dude, it's fucking hilarious to me because it's like, <laughs> It's actually pretty Because I, I do have this Twitter account and I and I, I see like how often like Spider-Man is trending and, and it's like people freaking out about a thing. And I'm just like, guys, 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 like oh, no. I, I I wish I could just like be able to speak to everyone and say, like, I how did really, this take off? Because you you are I can totally see his you point chill. of view, really. Like, like listen, I, I can't speak for anything else apart from myself. Sure. Like, like they might be doing something. <laughs> But then ain't none like I ain't I ain't got a call so like okay well that makes my life easier okay no that's that's good that's unequivocal you know what it feels like though it feels like because this hasn't come up yet in an interview but like do you ever play the game werewolf no or mafia yeah 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 uh huh you know that game and I think it's kind of similar where it's like you're convincing everyone that you're not in the mafia right. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel I like I'm in the game the of fucking werewolf. I never played that game. Mafia, actually. where I'm like, I'm not the werewolf. I promise you, I am not the werewolf. And everyone's like, you're the werewolf. You're the fucking werewolf. Look at him. He's like, he's doing. He's for, like, like, okay, so for the record, my friend, on a stack of whatever you have there, you are not, as of this taping, in or have any knowledge of being in the next Spider-Man movie. I feel like, of course, like, these I actors feel, are trained to I say feel no. Like, I, I, like, and we've seen I just this in the past. That? <laughs> I just you have. That. I, just, I just want to get really clear. I want this is this the unequivocal yes no answer. I did not get a call. He neither said yes or no. Maybe though. They shot you so keep in mind, like in mainstream, on the street. <laughs> like in mainstream. <laughs> this guy's listen, trying listen, so hard to break Andrew Garfield to like say okay. something. Um, have Look, you watched... I don't want to like I don't want to rule anything out. Maybe they want to call me. Maybe they're going to call me like and say like, hey, people want this. Like, I don't want to, like, say... You're testing the waters. <laughs> All right, it's pretty Maybe funny. Like, yeah, doing it like a... All right, guys, that was the very first time seeing the interview at the time of recording this new video. I've never seen this interview before. It was only posted about three hours ago. But there you have it. Andrew Garfield neither confirmed or denied that he was in the movie, that he at least is going to be appearing in the film. He didn't say yes or no that he was going to be in... Spider-Man No Way Home. So you got to remember and take this with a huge grain of salt, guys. Just because he didn't say yes or no doesn't mean that he's in the movie. Neither does it mean that he's not in the movie. So it's kind of like a back and forth with this whole movie. We don't even know what this movie is anymore. Like there's a lot of characters appearing, characters from past Spider-Man movies that take place in an entirely different universe. So you got to take it into consideration that it is a possibility that Andrew Garfield can 
and really will show up in Spider-Man No Way Home, then there's also the possibility that he won't show up in Spider-Man No Way Home. Either way, I don't know what it's really looking like. Is it a 50-50 thing, a 60-40, 70-30? I don't know what's going to really be. I don't know what's going to turn out to be like. So we'll just have to wait and see once that movie comes out later this year in December. And I'm really excited to see Spider-Man No Way Home because of how this movie is turning out to be. While remaining cautiously optimistic, this movie is going to be grandiose. It's going to be huge. And I'm really excited. So continuing on with the article, you'd love to take Garfield at face value, but you can't deny those two facts. If he is in the film... He would not be able to say either way. If he isn't in the film, he probably shouldn't say because cutting off buzz or the possibility wouldn't be looked favorably upon my people in the industry. So giving a definitive answer is not a possibility. Whether he's in the movie or not though, his answer here is a masterclass of semantics. And I just discussed this really, like really just, you know, breaking it down in my own way that he didn't get a call doesn't mean he's not in the movie. It could mean he got an email. It could be he was FaceTime or his agent was called and set up in meeting. Oh, sure, it implies that he's not in it, but he doesn't say it, which both satisfies the purpose of the interview, but also the secrecy he would have been sworn to the studio. Personally, I think he's lying there. His choice of words, the stammering, the fact that he's a great actor, it's the perfect performance under circumstances. If that is the case, though, I do wish he didn't have to lie, but such is the ongoing battle between journalists and fans hungry for information and actors who sign their lives away to be in these movies, unless they're Alfred Molina, who straight up said that he's in the movie. We'll find out what is the case in a few months when Spider-Man No Way Home opens on December 17th. And you heard it here, folks. Look. Andrew Garfield is a class act, man. He's an actor. He's acting even in movies and he's acting off screen during interviews. Of course, Marvel Studios actors, like they, when they do interviews, they are trained or, you know, they're told not to say anything about the movies that they're going to be in. And it's clear as day. I mean, we've seen this before where we've actually found out that actors have lied about either not being in the movie or being in the film uh, during the press of their films that they're promoting. So, for example... Um, Jamie Foxx had to quickly take down the fact that he was going to be in the movie, but it was already confirmed that he's already going to be in the movie as Electro. And other actors of other Marvel Studio films in the past have denied everything, and it turns out it was true when we went to see the film. So this could be yet another example of Andrew Garfield basically denying he's in the, he's in the movie while he's actually in the movie. So you let me know your thoughts. Comment down below, do you think Andrew Garfield will reprise his role as Peter Parker Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man movies franchise? Uh, do you think he will not reprise his role? Do you think that this is going to be a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse kind of situation, a live-action version? Whatever your thoughts and theories, comment down below. I'd like to read them. And with all that being said, that's pretty much all for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.